All right, welcome back to the table. I'm Intuitive Empress. I'm here to serve up some spiritual food that will nourish you on your journey. This is a general message for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting on this meal on today, don't forget to eat the meat and don't cook on the bone. To my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for your love and support. I appreciate every like, every comment, every subscribe, every share. To my new and returning viewers <clears throat> who have not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. It takes a couple seconds and it is free. All right, don't forget to like this video as it helps me with the YouTube algorithms and help more people notice my channel. All right. This is my birthday week, so I am announcing 30% off of everything on my Etsy shop, Intuitive Empress, and that's everything, including the personal reads. 30% off, and that only happens once a year, okay? That's the biggest sale that will be going on. It is in celebration of my birthday. I am a Taurus, yes, yes, yes. Through and through. Um, please do like this video. Also, um, I would like to say, because, you know, I did have this addressed to me, um, about the general reads, um, asking about uh, personal details. In order to get that deep and in-depth in an individual, you will have to purchase a personal read. These are general reads, so they cover all signs. Um, even when you get the zodiac sign, it's covering... For example, Taurus is everywhere, um, potentially around the globe. So in order to get something a little more specific to your situation, you will need to purchase a personal read so I can focus in on your personal energy, okay, to find out what's going on and to answer um, the questions depending on the level of reading you're asking for. So I just want to make that clear to those who are watching. Um, yes, it may tap on some things that you are going through, but it will not, absolutely will not touch on everything and it will definitely not go into depth into your personal experience. So that being said, let's get to this. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, Father God, please provide messages. Ooh. For my <clears throat> collective all signs on today. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so the first card out was foolish. All right, someone was reckless. Someone was irresponsible in their choices. Okay. Someone um, made unwise choices when it came to a drama queen or a drama king. This is an intention whore, someone who causes conflict. They always have your name, their name, the person down the street's name in their mouth. <clears throat> this is someone that you or someone close to you wanted to get away from, okay? Um, this could be even you traveling or taking a vacation or a spiritual retreat, all right? We have someone who is paranoid. Possibly a cancer, someone looking over their shoulder, haunted by the past, strange sounds. Normally, with this card, as you can see, um, the spirit in the background. Someone was playing around with different spirits. Or could have hooked up with someone who um, had a spirit attached to them. This uh, was a chaser, or you could have been the chaser in a codependent relationship. Someone fiercely pursuing you. Um, this could have been a romantic rejection. Maybe you rejected someone and now they wanted to do some type of uh, black magic or to a, a practitioner. This is someone who knows that you are about to get a lump sum of money, a financial reward, possibly alimony or child support, depending on your situation. If you were divorced or had a child that was not being cared for. All right, this is someone who is a clout changer chaser that will do anything for the gram 
and creates drama towards this divine masculine or the divine masculine could be this copycat, someone mimicking the energy of your divine partner, okay? Or this could have been someone mimicking the divine feminine to the divine masculine, um, trying to keep them away from this unconditional love, possibly a Scorpio where you could be a Scorpio as well, okay? So we have someone here that is going to pop up spontaneously, someone who's been watching you for a while. This will be a surprise encounter. They might pop up at your work, your job, someplace that they know you know, uh, they know where you hang out. This is someone who is going to say they want a firm foundation with you and build a family uh, for you. But this is someone who's hustling <coughs> and not in a good way. Um, this is someone um, possibly who's going to pop up if you are a male and say that they're pregnant, but they're actually not. Someone who is pretending to be your soulmate. May I have one more card, Holy Spirit, before we move on? All right. Yeah, this person is going to be angry because I feel like you are um, not going to succumb to this person's um, advances or this uh, karmic energy. Because I see a karmic feminine who's pretending to be pregnant, pretending to be someone that they're not, who has a hidden agenda. All right. You might be getting prophetic dreams, uh, visions. Hearing the Most High tell you this is not the one, even though this person wants a reunion, they're still partying hard, all right? But I do feel like that you have matured and moved on and want to continue to move on. You may have even relocated from this person who is lying and deceiving, this person who's trying to hustle you for money with a fake pregnancy, all the while saying that they want a strong family union and to... Um, Bill with you, they're going to pop up at your home with this information. All right, this is someone who has been chasing you down. Okay, wow. All right, so if this part of the message resonates with you, please let me know by giving me that th thumbs up. All right, oop, got stuff coming out already, flying at me. All right. So we have um, this energy you just feel is played out, played out energy, okay? This is someone who always like fishes for comments, um, this clout chaser um, causing you to move in silence um, while this person is steady trying to chase you, all right? Why is this person trying to chase the collective? Hmm. Okay, so this person may have been able to look into your energy so they can impersonate your ideal match. This is someone who may threaten because you were with this person in the past. In order for them to fake a pregnancy, you would have had to be with this person intimately. Okay. Yeah, but I see you running in the opposite direction of this person because of the drama and this person is feeling lonely but I see you ignoring this person because this person is a partier I feel like you have matured past this party state um, this person is a grudge holder even though they're going to come in kissing your behind if you have someone else they're going to want to fight them but this person needs to watch out because they're going to get karma for what they are doing. Bad karma. All right. Um, let's see. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for the collective? Wow, this person, I feel like this is some... A lady or a gentleman of the night because you have male and female who sells every little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, this person is under a spiritual attack. This energy harvester or you could be feeling a spiritual attack because this person is trying to harvest your energy. Remember, they are a copycat. 
so they impersonate you and what better way to do so than to harvest your energy to get clout they they feel like um, you are the center of attention when you go and many of you may be just because you have that energy to, that attracts people because of your life purpose what else holy spirit all right it says the most high is proud of you evil people borrow and don't repay but the righteous gives mercy it shows mercy and gives psalms 37 and 20 this could be someone you loaned a lot of money with i feel like this person wants to scapegoat you in particular the person who's taking credit they're trying to scapegoat you and say oh you left me hanging someone has an entity attached to them yes they do probably from all of the people that they have been with and what did i say there is spell work going on this person could be from south africa or South African, has South African roots, or dealing with a South African practitioner. This person wants to mess up your physical health and your mental health. They want to take your mind. But I feel like that they cannot touch you. Okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? All right. Anything else, Holy Spirit? This is a pretty big deck side. The wow, so we have pure heart, but it came out upside down. And the deck is in the upright. So this person does not have a pure heart. I feel like they that you do, and that's why they're trying to get to you. They project their insecurities onto others. They want to swap out destinies with you. Okay, but they're not going to be able to do so. God said, I have never seen, the word that came out was, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging for food. And that you are favored of the Most High. This is why they have not been able to do what they wanted to do with you in this case. And it says, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. That's Ephesians 6 and 10. Uh, they only wanted your money. Okay. For some of you, this is a romantic situation. For others of you, this just could be haters of you. We have North East, West United States. So that could be Washington on Oregon, parts of California. Um, and that's the far Northwest. And any states in that vicinity i can't say i know all the states offhand but you know if you're from the northwest okay this person at the bottom of the deck is not of the light this could be a secret friend of me as i said it's not always a lover this person is going to learn a hard lesson okay Whew. all right this person it may also already be receiving karma. And so they feel like if they can get in with you, it will stop what's happening in their life. But no, they have to go through that and hopefully awaken and learn what they need to learn so they can get back into the most high's good graces. All right. And I'm going to wrap this up. Hmm. Okay. All right, so the first card that came out was options, options, options. This person has a lot of options, or maybe they feel like you have a lot of options. This person cannot stop thinking about you. That's part of the torment from the demonic entities that have attached to them. Um, talking to them, telling them they would never be good enough. They're not going to be good enough until they replace you. All kinds of stuff. So the Most High says, obey his voice. Don't be wise in your own eyes. It will bring healing to your body, emotions, mind, and soul. Uh, success is your greatest revenge. So just keep walking in which you are. The faithfulness of God has been your protection. It says smile from your soul and laugh from your heart. You are not stuck in this situation. Okay? Because I feel like you've been going through a lot of stuff. A lot of spiritual attacks. 
And sometimes you can feel alone in that. Sometimes you can feel trapped in that, especially if you've been going through it for a number of years. And as soon as I said that number of years, long time came out of the deck. So some of you have been going through this for a long time. Some of you, this is a friend that you've had for a long time, 20, 30 years since you were in elementary school, junior high school, high school, all right? And the whole time this person um, has been around you trying to suck your energy, okay? The wise will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding or woman of understanding will attain wise counsel. That's Proverbs 5 and 1. It says, ask the most high to be your strength every morning and your salvation in times of distress. Um, I know that this works because when I was going through a whole lot of stuff, that's the scripture that I quoted every day, okay? Um, for some of you, you're, this is a womanizer. That's what I said. Not everyone is um, having the situation with the lover, but some of you are. This is a womanizer who sleeps around with a lot of women to feed their ego. Um, and he happened to run into you, which was high energy, and he was not used to that. All right, so there are some things that spirit has been telling you to do and you've been waiting for the perfect time. He's saying, don't wait. It will never be the perfect time. Um, don't continue to believe the lies that someone is telling you once the truth has been revealed, okay? So this person could be like, oh, I had a bad day. That's why I had attitude and everything, but they consistently have one. All right, that's their true character. All right, so we have someone isn't crazy in love to me that's not love, that is lust. All right, because love is patient, love is kind, love believes all things, it never fails. That's not the whole thing, but it talks about all the stuff that love is. But love is never crazy, okay. All right. You're more powerful than you realize, and people are starting to notice, even the people that are coming against you. Spirit wants you to have faith, because faith is the assurance of what's hoped for, perceiving as fact what has not been revealed in the natural or 3D. That's Hebrews 11 and 1. Great visions can't be comprehended by small-minded people, so you might be wondering why people are not coming around to the vision that you have because it can't be comprehended by them. Their minds are too small. All right. They're too closed off. And it says, you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. So this is the message that I have for you. Let me know if you like this message by hitting that thumbs up button. Please, please, please do so. It does help me out a great deal. And if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe to the channel. It takes a couple seconds. It's free. And that bell notification so you know when the next videos are available. I do thank you for joining me at the table for this meal. And I hope to see you at the table again real soon. Bye.